it's Jessie B. So I had been wanting to do this video for so, so long. And the thing was, all of these dolls were packed away in my basement somewhere and I was never able to find them. But because I finally moved out of my old house, we found these boxes behind the furnace in my creepy basement and I can show you what's in them. As you could tell by the title of this video, I have a very creepy doll collection. And if you guys don't remember from videos that I posted probably years ago, I talked about how as a kid my entire room was filled up with dolls and it wasn't even really because I liked dolls it was because my family and friends would always get me dolls for Christmas or for my birthdays so they just started piling up in my room I had shelves of them they were on my dresser they were on tables basically I would be lying in my bed at night and I would stare around my room and you know when your room is dark and you have some sort of light from the moon coming in the moon was shining sort of just very lightly over over all of their faces and they were just staring at me and I'm telling you I had such a hard time sleeping back then so finally when I was in probably grade 8 I went to my mom and I was like mom can we please put these dolls away they're really bothering me I just want to get them out of my room so she agreed and we put them all into boxes we hid them away in my basement and we completely redecorated my entire room and I never really thought about them again and then a few months ago I just had this random thought I was like wow, I have tons and tons of dolls in the basement that I can show you guys. And now they're at my new house and I actually have the box right here beside me and I'm totally freaked out because a lot of this stuff I haven't seen in so, so long, like 10 years. So, and they're already, like I could see some eyes already staring at me like, ugh, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. Some of them aren't scary. Some of them didn't really bother me and other ones really did because they would move and they would just do these weird things. But I'll just, I'll talk about them in a second. Uh, wow. I don't even know what to start with right now. Maybe I'll start with the least scariest things and I'll kind of move to the scariest ones. If anything moves beside me, I will literally move out of this house so fast. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the least scariest ones. As a kid, I think from when I was born to maybe three or four years old, I lived on an island called Antigua and it's kind of it's not completely near Barbados, but if you know where Barbados is, that's around where Antigua is. It's in the Caribbean, and I got all of these dolls when I was a baby, and let me show them to you. I had these three dolls as a kid that I got from locals on the island, and they were all very sweet to me, and these dolls never scared me. They never did. Actually, I kept these in my crib. I slept with them as a little kid, like when I was like two years old, and uh, honestly, when I look at these dolls, they I have really fond memories of them. I really love them. This one was actually from Barbados, as you can tell from the little apron thing she has on, but I had it in Antigua most of the time. This one actually says Antigua on it, and this one, this one I think was also from Barbados, but I had it in Antigua. The only creepy thing about this doll, I'm just gonna put these ones down, is that she's double-sided, so she has a head here, and if you flip her skirt, there's another one underneath, so it's like two dolls in one. That's the only thing that creeped me out. I really like to keep her on this side as a kid for some reason this side was just she was never shown I don't know I don't know why but these dolls overall were fine oh it's just so creepy like okay there's one doll here that's staring into my soul I'm gonna show you some of you may not be creeped out by this because it's from Toy Story but it is Jessie the cowgirl I'm sure you guys can already see what's creepy about her if you like zoom up to her face her eyes are open so wide I've always wondered that as a kid and she almost looks like she's up to something really really evil she looks like Chucky or something but I got this doll I think when I was in grade 5 because someone in my family was like oh her name's Jessie and your name's Jessie so have the doll and um, she'd always sit on my bed and whenever I walked into my room she'd just be looking at me like this and it just freaked me out she never moved or anything but her eyes just scared me so much you don't even understand so I'm gonna put her aside now Okay, okay, I need to like organize these from creepiest to not so creepy. Ooh, this is so creepy. Oh my gosh, there's one here that's the scariest of them all, but you're gonna see that in a second. Okay, we'll go to my fairy doll next. This one doesn't really look that scary, but there's a bit of a story behind her. So my mom's best friend used to live in Scotland with her kids and they would come down once every single summer when my mom's friend, let's call her Mary, Mary would come down and visit us and before we went to bed she would come into our rooms and she would tuck us in 
Oregon, and she would talk about how she had to tuck us in to keep us safe from the fairies because I don't know if it's like a Scottish thing or maybe it was just something that she was scared of, but she told me that if I wasn't tucked in properly, the fairies would come and eat me in my sleep. She gave me this fairy and put it on the side of my bed, and she would always be like, don't worry, you're completely safe from her. I don't know, ever since she said that, this doll really weirded me out. This girl Mary had this song that she would sing, she would tuck me into bed and she would stand over my bed and kind of do this with her fingers over my body, and she would hum this really eerie tune to sort of get the fairies away and uh, yeah and then this was just sitting on my dresser and I was like Ugh, you better stay away from me but yeah I don't know what what was her deal with the whole fairy thing I've always loved fairies so I don't know she kind of she kind of tainted that for me next um, is this doll her name's Kaylee I think and she's also from Scotland she never freaked me out I never had any problem with Kaylee do you know what she looks like though have you guys ever seen um what's that clown show that really weird clown show that I watched as a kid a uh, big comfy couch you know the little doll Molly I feel like like ignore the color of her hair but I feel like her face really looks like Molly maybe it's just me or I'm remembering wrong but that's what I see like when I look at her okay so the next doll is this one and this one is super super old it's a precious moments doll she never really bothered me that much I mean at night it was kind of creepy but it's sort of special to me because my family has always told me that I have precious moment eyes just because as you can see my eyes kind of curve down. I got this when I was really really little and she used to make me pretty happy until I got older and she was staring at me in my sleep. But yeah the sad thing is I don't remember the names that I used to give these dolls. I really wish I did. Next we have my little Estonian doll and I actually love this doll so much. If you guys didn't know my dad's side of the family is from Estonia so I can speak quite a bit of Estonian not like tons. I, I wouldn't say I'm fluent at all but I know a lot of Estonian and I went there to visit like three years ago and it's so beautiful there and I got this doll as a little kid and it's made out of wood. She's always sat on my desk and <laughs> I used to play Neopets all of the time. So I go home from school, sit at my desk and I'd play Neopets and she'd always like watch me play so she knew my addiction. But yeah, she wasn't she wasn't too bad. Now we are actually, wait, wait, not yet, not yet. We're not at the creepy, creepy ones yet. There's one more here. This Anna Green Gables doll my grandma gave to me because when I was a kid, her and I used to watch Anna Green Gables all the time and she actually took me to see a few Anna Green Gables plays. And I actually think in PEI we went to visit the Anna Green Gables house, I think it is. So I think when my grandma gave me this, it's sort of to represent our memories of Anna Green Gables together and it's really cute. She's she's fine. Now we're getting into the four scariest ones. And the thing is, these might not be scary to you, but when I was a kid, I would they would just move somehow, like I'd place them somewhere in my room, I'd walk out and come back and they'd be slightly moved or their eyes would have moved or they would have fallen off my shelf. Just very strange things. So we're gonna start with, this one here is an Anna Green Gables doll. And I'm pretty sure my grandma gave this to me as well. I don't know what happened to her. She was completely clean. Nothing was wrong with her. And one day I came home from school and she had these like dark black circles under her eyes. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna try and zoom up with the, while I'm editing this. The black won't come off. I've scrubbed her. I've done everything, but it's like she's just permanently tired and the dark circles under her eyes just make her look not friendly anymore or cute in any way. And I remember when I started seeing these dark circles under her eyes, I would pl place her face down on the shelf so I wouldn't have to look at her anymore. I can't believe I'm actually staring into her eyes again. You know what? I do not want to have these dolls in my basement like I really don't <laughs> why have they come here and this is creepy because her head like her head's the only thing that sort of moves it almost looks like it's about to fall off okay I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put her down all right you guys are not gonna want to see the creepiest one but anyways this is the third creepiest one this is a snow white doll and she's very very pretty her dress is gorgeous I just I, this doll is very visually appealing but she was one of the ones that used to creep me out when I slept at night because I don't know her face just looks it looks like she's faking a smile and she's like coming up with something evil in her head you guys are gonna think I'm in 
insane. People who have never seen my videos are gonna click on this and be like, wow, this girl actually has problems. <laughs> she thinks her dolls are trying to kill her. It's, it's not even that. It's just I have bad memories of them when I was a kid. That's all. Ugh, stop staring at me. I think we all have something. Like if you look back on your childhood, there's gotta be some toy or doll or something that used to give you a bad feeling. That's all I'm saying. They never hurt me. They never like jumped off the shelves at me. That would be weird though. They just made me feel uneasy. That's all I'm saying. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put her back. This is the second creepiest doll that I own. And it's because they're starting to look very realistic. Her outfit is beautiful and her hair is beautiful, but she fell off my shelf probably about 25 times. And it would always be while I was in the room, whether it was while I was sleeping or on my computer or just doing something in my room, I would just hear this like crash behind me and she would always fall down, probably more than any of my other dolls. And what was weird was she would never fall down face first or sideways. It would always be so that she was lying on her back. So when I went to pick her up, she was just glaring at me. So yeah, this is her. And I actually can't remember. I don't know if I bought her or if someone got her for me. I have this feeling that I saved up my allowance and actually bought her while I was up at a cottage with my grandparents, but I could be wrong. All I know is that after like three nights of owning her, I was just done. I was done with you. Honestly, those of you who have watched me for like over a year, you're probably just not surprised by the things I talk about. I always wonder what people tell their friends about me. Like if they text them, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, watching Jessie V. And they're like, who is she? I wonder what you guys say. Like, do you guys say she's a little crazy? Always thinks things are trying to kill her. Surrounded by ghosts. Hangs out in a creepy basement. Like, what do you guys say? All right, are you ready for the creepiest one? Oh my gosh, I don't even want to pick her up. Oh my gosh. If she moves, I'm so done. All right. All right, all right. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. She's actually so heavy, like a real child. Like she is so heavy. Okay, so this doll, someone in my family gave her to me. I don't know if you can see in the camera. I'll try and zoom up. Oh, I don't wanna brush her hair. Ooh, her hair feels so real. Everything about her feels so real. Oh my gosh, imagine if like I was talking right now and her head just suddenly like twisted towards me. Okay, I'm gonna try and zoom up with the camera, but this eye is extremely, extremely yellow. And it's not because she's been down in a basement for a long time. I got her, she seemed fine. Her eyes were completely white. Everything seemed okay. And for some reason that one eye, day by day got more and more yellow. I don't know what went wrong with her. If you're thinking logically, it's probably just maybe perfume I was spraying in my room or something that started to sort of ruin. The, was it made of plastic or glass? Can I touch your eye? Do you mind if I touch your eye? Okay, that's glass. That's definitely glass. I don't really know, or not glass, maybe porcelain? This has gotta be porcelain. What are you? Her eyes look so real though. But um, something was making her eyes turn completely yellow and I did not like it at all. But yeah, if I could pick any doll in my entire room that freaked me out the most, it would definitely be her. I remember one day I walked in and there was actually a giant spider right on her cheek just hanging out there. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I made a story time, I think it was a year ago, about the possessed statue that I had in my room. And that statue almost every day would have a spider right above it. And when I looked up that sort of meaning, spiders, when they're around something like an object, it usually means it's very evil. So thinking back on my childhood and knowing that she didn't have spiders on her cheeks all the time, like maybe once a year or something, but just the fact that it was always her is just very strange. Yeah, I don't have anything crazy weird to tell you guys about her or any of the dolls. They just really creeped me out as a kid, so I wanted to sort of share my weird doll collection. I don't even know if I want to put them back in the basement or what. I probably will because I shouldn't really throw things out from my childhood, but I'm gonna close the box well and maybe lock it. I love how I'm just talking to her. I'm just curious, so comment down below which doll you think is the creepiest or scariest in your opinion. Looks wise, I think the creepiest doll is either the Anna Green Gables with the dark circles under her eyes or the Jessie doll just because her face is just messed up. But the one that really gave me this horrible feeling is that last one I just showed you. So as I was packing up my dolls to bring back into the basement, I I looked down and um, one of the dolls hair fell off. That's never happened before, but um, here's a picture. I just don't get this anymore. All these weird things happen to me. But yeah, it looks even scarier now that it's bald. So that's, that's awesome. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this creepy doll haul. I feel like I'm just inhaling dust from all of these things. Gonna have like an asthma attack right now. I'm just gonna go uh, put them back in the basement. So wish me luck. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.